Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? I thought I'd follow up from yesterday's video and give a little bit more in-depth of what I'm going to be doing um, for moving along with Japanese through reading. All right, so um, if, you, if you took a look at yesterday's video, I talked a little bit about uh, me taking a break from Japanese and my path moving forward being heavily reading-centric. So that is the truth, and I'm going to go over what resources I'm going to be personally using and how I am going to go about using those. So um, I'm just going to jump straight into it and talk a little bit about those and show you what they are. So first, as you all may know, I'm definitely going to be using Yomi-chan. And so if you didn't expect that, well, there you go. Yomi-chan. I'm going to be using Yomi-chan to read... Um, light novels online that I want to read personally. The two light novels that I have that I am um, currently trying to read right now is one is Classroom of the Elite and two is ReZero as you all may know. And so those are the two novels, uh, light novels that I am currently uh, beginning to pick back up and beginning to read on uh, Yomi-chan using the Tsu reader. Um, online and so that one is going to be pretty straightforward and so the second one you may not be expecting and so the second resource I'm going to talk a little bit more about and that second resource is going to be Link. So you may know what Link is, if not it's basically a online web app and phone app that um, kind of has this graded reader like interface and so what that means is uh, words will be highlighted and then you can click on them to search up the definitions of words and stuff like that. So I personally, um, about two years ago, I actually bought a lifetime link account. So um, yeah, it's kind of just been sitting there and I haven't really used it. I thought I was going to use it a lot more. And so I jumped back on link and started looking around and realized there's a ton of great stuff on there that uh, I'm missing out on and that, you know, I might as well take advantage of since I have already gotten through the paywall. So um, that is what I'm going to be doing for my second way of reading. Uh, that one is going to be mainly towards, um, you know, the easier stuff that I talked about um, earlier or that I talked about in yesterday's video. So I'm going to be mainly using Link as the um, as a way to source through easier level content that I don't really have to uh, look up too much. And so if I do need to look it up, it's on link and I can just click the word and it'll be there. I'll show you a little bit about it. And yeah, additionally, I did find some, additionally, it's not only limited to beginner level content on link, there's a ton of intermediate content and a ton of advanced level content. Um, that I can go and look and see what's interesting. And the cool part is that you can always include audio with it. So um, I will definitely be doing a little bit of that as well. But um, in terms of advanced level content, at the current moment, I'm just using the Tsu Reader and then Light Novels Online uh, with Yomi-chan instead. So, you know, if you don't have access to Link and you want to do something like this, you could always just use Yomi-chan. I always just tell people, if you want to go free and you want to read a lot, just use Yomi-chan uh, and go online and just read a lot. That's perfectly a, that's a perfectly viable option. The only reason I'm using Link is because I had previously bought it and so it's a waste to not use it. Because honestly, I think Link is a really great resource and um, it provides a lot of value, especially for me, if it's going to curate content that might be interesting um, according to level. And so that reduces the need for me to actually have to go through each individual resource and find out what, you know, what is easy enough, what is not, what's too hard, what's too easy, stuff like that. Of course, you, there's a ton of a ton of forums at the you know reddit posts you can go to the refill jp page um or discord and you can find a lot of great resources out there but that's a little bit more manual labor um of course but you know link it's all going to be kind of on the front page so um those are the two main things that i'm going to be doing a uh, link for my you know my quote-unquote less intensive free flow reading um and then the second one is my more intensive reading by using just the two reader 
and then Yomi-chan. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and show a little bit of what the resources and reading and materials look like. So let's just jump onto my laptop and I'll just give you a little bit of what that looks like. Okay, so first thing is Link. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the front page of my Link. Uh, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the, the interface. There's definitely a lot of good stuff here, but it's just not my cup of tea. I think it's a little bit um, less user friendly. Uh, but, you know, there are guides on YouTube that guide you through it. And so it's not that hard if you get used to it. Um, the only gripe I really have is trying to find my imports. But to do that, you just go to view all under getting started. Go to my imports under content type and then, you know, here's all your lessons you imported and here's all the courses you created. So not that hard to do. Uh, you just got to get used to it. Just take a couple of, of minutes, you know, 30 minutes and you'll be familiar with the link page. So like I said, the main reason that I'm using link is the ability to navigate and the ability to filter things by difficulty. So, um, of course, difficulty is an arbitrary term, um, you know. Intermediate content might be harder than advanced content on here, and beginner content might be harder than intermediate content. Uh, it depends on who you source it from. So the main thing that I'm going to be using, though, are the, the, the curated link content. I think the curated link content isn't too bad. So, um, you know, if you go to guided courses, you can find beginner one, beginner two, intermediate one, intermediate two. That's the main things I'm going to be sticking to. I think I'm going to go through the Link Podcast here 2.0 um, because uh, both Link Podcasts and check those out because it has audio attached and it's got reading attached to it. So I'll be using those um, in the beginning. So other than that, uh, that's all I've got for Link at the current moment. Um, you know, of course, I'll throw a referral code down below in the description. Um, you can get some Link points or whatever that is. And uh, yeah, if you want to sign up, check it out go for it. The next thing I'll show you is um, the Tsu Reader. So here's the Tsu Reader and this is where I'm reading uh, Classroom of the Elite. And so um, basically all I did was find a uh, you know find a PDF version of Classroom of the Elite somewhere on the internet and then imported it onto this uh, reader and then I'm just reading it and so you know you can do your settings here and all that fun stuff you can import um, and just read this one's really simple basically you just use Yomi-chan you know we know Yomi-chan you just hover over a word and you get to see the word um, and so yeah I am currently 27,000 words or uh, yeah 27,000 characters in and yeah I'm continuing so I think I've read about 10,000 characters this week so, you know, things are progressing, and this is my main thing that I'm going to be using. And then, of course, for ReZero, I'm going to be using Seosetsu, um, because this is where all of the web novel stuff is uploaded on for ReZero. And yeah, I feel like I've read this first prologue like s several times, so I'll probably skip to like chapter three or something like that, and then continue from there. Um, but other than that, those are the main things that I am uh, currently using for um, my my reading. And then, of course, I'm still watching Japanese YouTube and I'm watching, you know, anime. Of course, um, that's always going to be somewhere in my study. But and yeah, you know, this is my YouTube stuff that I watch just on a day to day basis. It's nothing too special. But yeah, one plug I want to do is if you want to hop in the Discord, I'm always on there to chat about anything. Um, so are my Discord users. We're always down to talk about language learning stuff for Japanese. So hop in my Discord down below in the description. Um, but other than that, if you watch all the way through, uh, thank you so much for watching today. And uh, I'll see you again in a future video. See you later and good luck in your studies.